Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden, and I want to show an update today with the Diva Cucumber plant. It's been exactly two weeks since I planted these two se seeds right here, and this one has been one week of growing. So it's actually long overdue for this plant to be transplanted. You can see the roots have come up, come out quite a, quite a bit from the slits that I cut over there, so let's see, hopefully that's not too hard to take out. And I noticed, surprisingly enough, the roots actually smell a lot like cucumbers. Very fascinating. And you can see the roots actually growing all on the top, all throughout. So, definitely time to move this guy. So, what I'm going to do is simply taking a neck cup. This is a 3 inch neck cup that I'm using. Some lava rocks or hydrogen. I usually pour about like half a neck cup because on top I put cocoa core and I don't want cocoa core just falling all the way through. So that looks pretty good. And let's see if we can do this with one hand. Let's actually start with this one here, it'll be a little bit easier. So give that a nice little firm squeeze. Loosen up that cocoa right there. And there's some chance it's going to be a little bit easier. What I like to do is, with two fingers go between, hold it, and give it a nice flip, and take the cup off. So let's see what it looks like. That looks really good. Nice, very healthy looking white roots. And you see it's definitely time to transplant it. So what I do is I just flip it around, put it right on top, loosen up the cocoa a little bit, and let that fall. You see the roots all get exposed. And just try to keep this thing nice and centered as much as possible. And you see right now, right now all the roots are kind of open, so I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit more cocoa. I usually have some handy. And it's, you know, it's a good idea to keep it pretty moist. You see it holds water really well. If I, for example, squeeze it, look at all that water that just came out. So not bad, even after the, those two squeezes, there's still plenty more. So take a nice little handful and start filling this thing in. Give that a nice little firm push down. Sorry about all that sh shaking, that's the metal tray that it's on. Makes quite a bit of noise, I should definitely clamp that down probably with some zip ties, that should work well. So a nice firm squeeze, and that's all we need to really do. Now what I'm going to do is put that in the glass jar. So this is right over here, it fits a 3 inch neck up perfectly, and I'm going to pour in the hydroponic fertilizer. Don't worry about a little those little bits of coca core going inside. I'm gonna be changing it, the fertilizer, the reservoir here in, within two weeks, or exactly two weeks, and then again, every month from then we'll be changing it. So put that in. I'm gonna take my hydroponic fertilizer, which is a mixture of Master Blend two grams, calcium nitrate two grams, and Epsom salt one gram. And what I'm going to do is basically fill up all the way up to the neck up here, about a quarter inch, or up until this first line right here. And I'm going to do that for both of the cucumber plants there. That other one, I'm, it's probably too intertangled to split without damaging the roots, so I'm going to keep it just like that. So I'll just fill this up until it's the right level. That looks pretty good. And take that out. 
And there we have it. That's the cucumber's new home. Uh, keep that nice and straight. But it's going to be a vining plant, so that makes no difference. It's going to go up. And the reason why I mentioned that I'm going to be changing the nutrients here within two weeks because you see a lot of the coco coral settles down. So after two weeks, everything should drop down and it shouldn't really affect uh, too much. I, I, don't, I don't believe so. So let's try to do the second one right up here. And it's a good idea to actually cover up the glass jar so algae doesn't start to form. So what I'll do is I'll just take some paper and wrap it around here. Maybe put it in the rubber band. Now this one's going to be a lot harder. Let's see how it goes. Same thing. Loosen it up. Let's move that out of the way. Put your fingers through. And let's see what happens. There we go. Almost out. Let me try to grab it with my second hand. And there we have it. It looks like a tiny bit of the roots broke off. Or pretty decent piece, but that's alright. Same thing, nice white, beautiful, healthy looking roots. So let's do the same thing. And I'll be right back. Welcome back. I ended up splitting the two cucumber plants. I decided I wanted to have three plants going right away instead of two jars only. I'll have three. And we can see how each goes. I unfortunately had to break the roots up a little bit just to separate them, but. It should bounce back fairly quickly, being that it's also submerged in nutrients. You'll see a real big difference next week when I show you a nice little update with this plant. I put it right next to the herbs over here, being that the lights is actually a pretty good level. I don't want to have to move it around too, too much up and down. And I'm going to cover up the glass jars like I mentioned tomorrow, being that I'm going to turn the lights off right now. It's already pretty late. And for now, things are looking pretty good, I think. I burned uh, this guy on this side over here and touched the light. Probably for about a few minutes. But overall, healthy looking green, green leaves. Very healthy white roots. Things are looking good. We're going to be back soon for more. I'll show you an update of what's going on. And if you want to find out what cucumber plant this is, look in the description below. As well as if you want to purchase it or anything from the system that I use, you'll be able to get from the links below. Hopefully you liked the episode. If you do, hit the thumbs up. Keep episodes coming. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.